Huh. Okay, this must be the uh, this must be the next ruins I found. Hmm. I wonder if this is a door. Let's let's see. Whoa. Huh. This looks really cool. Whoa. Huh. Whoa. This must be the next this must be the next ruins. Should record an audio log just in case. Hmm. The question is, how am I gonna get to the other side? Which island do I go to? Wait. That's it! Okay. Uh, is there anything I can do? What if I touch this? Whoa! Huh! Oh! Okay, that's that's cool. Okay. Whoa! This place is huge. I didn't expect it to look like this. That's what I found was really small. Hey! Ah, uh, you again? What the hell are you doing here? You should know by now. Doing whatever the hell I. Fuck your freedom! Now, why don't you just back away? Oh, fuck you! Okay, as you can tell, not really in any moves to fight right now. So, if you were smart, and if you want to stay alive, I recommend leaving. You and what army? What gives you the right to tell me to leave? I said, now. You gotta give me a reason, bub. Oh, someone getting angry? <laughs> I will go for the kill if I need Easy to. now. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> now if you'll excuse me, I got a place to burn. You're not burning these ruins. <laughs> Too bad, so sad. Now stay the hell out of my way. Huh? Why is it not? God, not again? No, come on, just let me. Ugh. Fine, fine, fine. You don't want me to use the sword. Fine, fine, fine. It's nice instead. Back off. Now, I'm, I'm gonna give you five <laughs> seconds to leave! Five! Four! Let me. I three! Let me... No! I didn't strike! <laughs> Did it. Did it happen again? <sighs> Now I'll give you five seconds to lick <laughs> that again. No. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I'll just go. Alrighty. Okay, in our case, since you refuse to leave, I might as well make you myself. You should know better than to touch somebody without their consent, dragon. Okay, I'm not falling for these tricks. You're a smart guy, aren't you? And you're supposed to be a god. Can't you read my aura? No, it can't be! Well, since I can finally access this girl's human state. Get the talk. Well Why are you here? 
<sighs> Always so impatient. No wonder where you're gonna get from. <laughs> but again, if you let me get to a more proper form here. Proper? <laughs> Duh! What the? Definitely gonna have to just do this. <sighs> Anyways, apparently this girl here decided that she was gonna steal away her own human state. Even though she's not even Mobian or Moebian or whatever she calls herself. I know I'm Same a lot. same creature. Hmm. Same creature. Same creature, same packaging, just different crap. <laughs> but at any rate, wait. I shouldn't even be around here, I understand that. Especially since she, she attempted to go through that entrance there. And yeah. instead, it pushed to that. I'm guessing you had something to do with it. I have nothing to do with it. Huh? Again, you gotta use your senses. Whatever you may be looking for, apparently they are waiting for somebody here to try and be able to bring balance to this planet. Hmm. Also, from what I keep hearing, the true guardian. So I'm in the right area then. I forget you were looking for this area. For a friend. And a sister. I know who you're talking about. <laughs> I may have gotten shot with a lot of chaos energy, but it didn't mean I didn't hear about her guardianship. Wait, you mean to tell me that... How is this possible? I thought you were gone. Well, I thought a lot of people leave. The thing was... What you saw was me at my darkest moment. After everything that had happened. And being forced into Yuna's body. And then my consciousness finally reawakening. I ended up as an extremely vengeful spirit wanting the whole multiverse to suffer. Yeah, Though I realized. Yeah, we've had plenty of those after you. So, though, however, I realized after. So after the, all that chaos energy had struck me and Yenna was able to take them in, I realized the error of my ways, as well as rediscovering who I once was. An innocent, an innocent, no, I will say an innocent this. woman. Right? I was once, instead of I said one. Because, let's just say, before everything that had happened, I was part of Azrael's army. I was, technically, I was forced to join. Why didn't you choose for your own? I would have, but I wanted to see my son again. <laughs> well, I hope you had a for long stories. Hmm. I was once a fallen angel. My family was a, was several powerful beings, several powerful fallen angels. Though I was black sheep because my power relied on hearts. However, 
to them, it was classified as weak. And I was just only good just to marry off to somebody else. A lot of them, either they rejected me or I rejected them. Because I refused to marry just for benefits. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure I marriage would be someone you could actually love. The thing is, though, Dragon, when it comes to the beings of our world, usually arranged marriages are very common, especially amongst those of power. Yikes. Mm hmm. You ought to be grateful that you met your sister when she wasn't a part of them. Otherwise, <laughs> the poor girl would have probably been thrown into a marriage with her status. But at probably any rate. wasn't even born at that time. <laughs> I know, but at, at any rate, so they decided that the, as a last ditch effort, they would throw me to the king of the fallen angels himself, Azazel. I've heard that. Many he times. happens to have a lot of. He happens to have a lot of knowledge and everything. However, it turned out that a lot of women want to throw themselves at him and pray to become his queen. However, I was the only one that was technically forced to go there. But, however, he's not. At first, I thought he wasn't all what he seemed, and. I had actually taught him that not all women are just a bunch of whores that like to throw themselves out at men, just so that way they can get some power. In fact, I even taught him about my abilities when it comes to using the heart. Everything was going by smoothly, but then one night after I, well, I decided to give myself up to him and decide, you know what, I'll take the risk in marrying him. I got thrown out by his guards. Apparently, it made me think that he's never really taken any of my teachings seriously. It took about several months, maybe a year, to try to at least be with him, to try to at least win him over, what some people will say. But, turned out though, that one night, or the night before I was tossed out, it was also the night where my son was conceived. So, I ended up pregnant. And I gave birth to a son. Though, however, I did live out on my own. I was still able to manage. And I was still able to provide for my son. But, like most mothers, my instinct was... He deserves to know his father. But... My instincts were also my biggest mistake. So I'm guessing I turns to managed to get. I'm guessing turns went for the worst. In a way, it has been because I went over to go visit Azazel. Despite having to struggle against many guards, I informed him that the child I bear was his son. He believed me. And I had talked with him and stated that I wanted to make sure that my son had his father in his life. And again, initially it made me think maybe he does want to make want to be able to make sure that his son has both mother and father. And then again, again I thought wrong once more. Because the next day my son was taken away from me, and I was thrown right over to Azriel and forced to join his army. And there was no reason given, and the only way I could be able to see my son was whenever I happened to cross paths with some of Azazel's men. So I worked hard and up in the ranks. And once I became general, Lucifer, he saw my capabilities and gave me extra lightning abilities. 
That's what I was about to I'm... lose first lightning ability. Mm -hmm. However, I have passed it down over to Yina before she had sent me to the afterlife. Mm. At any rate, though, after. But, and then I had became the Grand Commander of his armies. Though, however, my death had happened when it turned out that we were given misinformation in regards to Yena being separated from her family. Because of that, myself and my squad were considered as traitors. We were all executed by Azazel's word. And so, I, however, Azriel spared my soul from being sent over to the afterlife and instead had me trapped in a sphere of like prison. For over a thousand years, I slumbered, my memories disappeared, my power was sealed away. It wasn't until year, years and years later, after I've been forced into Yina, that I've awoken with this lust for revenge. But now that my vision's more clear. I still have that thirst for revenge, but not upon Azriel. And not upon anybody else. But the one man that ruined my life. That took away my son. And thankfully, thanks to some... And though, my main priority now... I need to find Yena. And let her know about some problems that went about in the afterlife. That and there's several people that I need to find. Thankfully, even though it was a rough encounter, Draco did confirm with me that my son is still alive. So one of my goals is I need to find him. Curious and question. What is your son's name? Hmm? It goes by the name Mitsuhide. Wait, what? You're his mother? I take it you know him? Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen him. I didn't... This, this is much to take in. I didn't even know about this. He hasn't even... <laughs> I believe he hasn't mentioned you when I hanged out with him. It's been a long, it's been a long time. I like think the last time I saw him, I went visit, uh, Raziel's kingdom. <laughs> well, honestly, I don't really blame him. Huh? I'm sure probably his father made up some lie stating that I'd abandoned him when I never did. What I heard, it didn't really sound true. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it'll tend to make that bond happen again. Again, as soon as I find him, I want to at least let him know that I never abandoned him, I never hurt him, that I want the best for him, and that I'm sorry for all the mistakes I've made, including letting him see his own father. And then there's one other person that I need to find as well, not out of vengeance, but to let him know. He was the only person that I was able to trust without feeling... Without feeling the pain. Without feeling like I've been lost away. Mind giving me a detail? You should know who he is. He's called Zypher. Soul. Soul chilled. Hmm. Actually, he is still. He has changed his identity as well. Yeah, he's still around, but we'll have to go through a hedge fox now. Yes, probably once I gain more control of this girl, I'll go. I'll find the hedge fox again, and at least have him let me see him. 
right now because technically I'm still a spirit classified as a spirit. I'm not allowing myself to rest until I can find those two. You're not the only the spirit only here. Bon no. The only bonuses that I consider, well, the ones I consider as bonuses is if I can find Lunar again if he's still alive. And that I don't know. For everything he has to put me through. And I'm actually serious about the whole spirit thing. I'll let you meet him, but he won't hurt you, but he won't fight you. I kept him under control. Very well. Huh. So you're the spirit that dragon has told me about. A lot has changed since you were gone. That I can tell. Especially since I didn't expect Dragon to be possessed by another spirit. Long story. <laughs> Understand. And what and what are you classified as? Berserk. Your aura, that's understandable. Hmm. <laughs> Trust me, you're lucky that you've taken over because if Anarchy was there, I would have gave her another trip. <laughs> yes, I know this girl has been causing quite a lot of chaos. However, she may have higher strength than others. But the thing is, Not she has me. something that thank I don't know. But there's something that at least Yena does not. She's very weak minded. Hmm. All she does is depend on her freedom. That makes her more weak. Well the and woman if, and she's is listening, between what I'm is telling the truth. <laughs> well, it's like what I've been telling her. There's a there's a difference between freedom and anarchy. And all she's doing is just living up to her name until something happens to her. And well, I said we'll have to have a talk with uh, Adriel about this girl too. I looked deep within her soul, within her previous lives a little bit. She wasn't even supposed to be back on, back in the land of the living. You mean to tell me that she's dead? Technically speaking, her previous life. Let's just say she has done a lot of unspeakable crimes. She was supposed to be sentenced to hell, but... However, her spirit escaped and went into reincarnation. Though, from what it looks like, she ended up being reborn into something that is considered frowned upon. And then oh. now, well, where she's at, I think she's taking, I think she may be starting back up to where her previous life left off. Dry is listed again. Next time he sees her, I'm pretty sure he'll tell her that. <laughs> she's been informed on that several times. But apparently, she does not like listening. <laughs> Dragon has his ways. I saw something came out from him. I don't know if you noticed when you were trying to take over the red irises. I've noticed. That's another well, change. It looks like it could be. From what it looks like, it looks like it's a side effect from his god powers. That. that. and you're the one that broke the seal. opportunity. He actually wanted to thank you.
That is definitely something I did not expect. Here's the thing about it. When it comes to people losing their memories over it, it's hard to have a seal broken. I don't know what abilities you had or something. That broke it. That made him find who he really is. You want courage, yeah. But faith? I'm sure you witnessed it. Briefly, but at the time, I was struggling with Yena. Because she was shot with a shot with an arrow by a false angel. Don't worry, he's already dead. I heard. What about you, though? What's your purpose in taking over with Dragon? What are you looking for? Survival. I only kill if I need to. No lusts or anything. But when I was let loose during the whole corruption business, I didn't know who I really was. But that's the dragon inside his mind. He found my true purpose. Let's see. <laughs> well, it looks like for me here, it took a lot longer. I was awakened. I was awakened when the devils started planning out their invasion and. Attempt and attempted to take a take away sailors' peace and harmony. However, after I got sealed away for a while, I started to realize oh, what I need, what I wanted, what I thought I needed to do. I was once a threat to this planet. And there was plenty of and time for you to make it Zek, unlike you, all I want to do is just find the two the two most important people in my life. For when it comes to making up and forgiveness, that is something I do not expect. Nor do I consider it as a priority. But I know dra if Dragon's listening in, I have no intention of hurting anyone. Only fighting when it's absolutely necessary. He'll tell you what I bring about. He's still processing. I understand. <laughs> yeah, you haven't caught me quite shocked when. My name is Mira. He's still thinking. He's not saying anything, but I think uh, your time is almost up. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Uh, I could be able to feel. Don't worry. I'll deal with her. <laughs> yes. Well, it's a pleasure to at least be able to meet you, Berserk. You too. <laughs> Whoever you run into, give them the explanation they need. I will for those that are willing to listen. I already tried to give it to one person. Apparently he didn't want to hear it, but... His loss when... He finds out that not everyone that I have battled wants my head. <laughs> and about the whole thing about the hell thing... I can actually give access to her mind. You just gave me a good picture. <laughs> right. At any rate, I'll have to well, give this. I'll have to give this body back over to her. I'll go behind you. She's really scary. <laughs> good idea. <laughs> Farewell. Oh, right.
Ты лапа не класть. Fell over, Zerk. I fell out to you, Dragon. All right, you squirrely thing. I'll get you back up. Ah. God damn, whatever the hell the spirit is really knows how to get into my head. Ah! And now she's able to get into my human body. I did not want that at all. God damn it. Just gonna mess with this. Wait a minute. You know the drill. Really? We're gonna do this again? I have to take you right now. Seriously? Come on! That's not me. Hmm? You're not moving your arm. Uh, what the okay. hell did you say to that spirit? Instead of saying it, I'm about to show you instead. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what the hell is this? Hmm. Why does it look familiar? Say hello to hell, Anarchy. The consequences of your ways leads to you in that. You were supposed to be there. Uh, like I haven't heard that before. Yeah, but the thing is, you were just playing with the devil. You'll just burn him The fuck are you- Until... The fuck are you talking about? Nothing. It don't make sense! What the fuck are you talking about? <sighs> you need to go to school for that. If you really are an uh, anti-being of chaos, whatever, you are to do that. Tell me you're just a dope priest. Why don't you just shut the hell up, you stupid asshole? Oh, what? Oh, oh, I had enough of this bullshit. Not... Again, I just have enough of this bullshit. Alright, you know what? Fine. Fine. Screw everything here! Um. I'm out of here. <laughs> not like that. That ain't your transportation. Which way are you going? That way. <sighs> I'm gonna throw you more further this time. Oh dear God. Oh, you're ready. That's like that. Uh, don't care. <laughs> yep, that is definitely further than how far through. <laughs> Alright, Dragon, but that's over. Yep, new world record. Wait, Beshi's gonna go to Antarctica next. Anyway. To what I was doing. I hope, hope Nera accomplishes what she needs to do. Let's enter here. Whoa! Okay. I'm in. The transcripts. And... Cool. Really? Yeah, what's up? Hey, Dragon. Just wanted to follow up to see if you saw anything from uh, your latest, uh, from your latest stop. I'll send you the video feed. 
take a look at what I'm looking at. Whoa, those transcripts. Are they familiar to you? They match with what the whispers have been saying. Seven. But definitely seven. I sent the data to Cookie. We should meet up with her when I when I get out of here. And uh may or may not have ran into anarchy again. Oh dear God. But well, there was there was something at any rate. But there was something different. Different? What do you mean? You know, no, another time. Where are you? I'm actually on my way over to the Master Emerald Shrine. Perfect. I'll perfect. I'll meet you there. Um. Huh? No need. Wh why? To call to call us, sending me over there. She states that one. I'm gonna be meeting somebody over there anyways. And two, the Master Emerald should give me a clearer picture on the on the seven. Meet me at Cookie's place when you're done. We're gonna find let's finally put the pieces on the puzzle, shall we? Can't promise you that, but I'll try to be over at Cookie's place. Okay. Uh, just I'll send you the data of the, tra of the transcripts just in case things go south. Got it. Did you get them? I... Yep, I just received all of them. Perfect. And... Oh, um... Someone else is contacting me. Oh. oh okay. Uh, I'll put you on hold. Uh, hello? Shadina. Hey, sorry to bother you. Um, sorry, we've been getting getting some odd readings of some spikes that have been popping up. We have heard some odd. Let's just say that we have heard some odd, odd uh, news about some antis that have gone to Mobius. But there's one particular anti that had a strange spike in chaos energy reading. You know anything about that? Okay, well, I guess I'll have to tell Peace I'll head over to your place instead. Best, I t best we just talk face to face. Because uh, I don't want, because uh, I, I don't want, because I don't want GUN hearing this. Understandable. All right, I know where you live. I'll be over there, and I'll be over there in a bit. Just wrapping up something here. Okay. All right then. See you later. Yeah. See you in a bit. Sorry about that. <sighs> No worries. Yeah, Shadina what contact. What did you want? Nope, it was Shadina. Oh, Shadina. Okay, well, what did she want? She felt some odd spikes. Of chaos synergy. But... Well, like, just for your hint, let's just say... We ran into an old enemy. Well, you did say that you may have ran, that you ran into anarchy. But what is she doing with chaos energy now? I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Well, but but being... I will. I'll just say this, just to hint it. She's looking for you. For me? <laughs> not well, gonna get. Not gonna really... give detail. Well, if Anarchy is so desperate to look for me, you know what? Might as well. Yeah, that should be a that should be a different priority. Cause don't forget what we have. I know. But, yeah, I'm gonna focus on making sure at least I know who these seven are, and then see where things go from there. I'm gonna head to Shadina's place. I'm gonna have to fill her in on everything. When we meet up at Cookies, I'll tell you everything. I'll have Cookie listen in. Uh, Alright then. 
Yeah. Just contact me when you're on your way. I will. Thanks. Over and out. Over and out. <sighs> oh, my head. I don't get it. For some reason, that shows the way down. <sighs> okay, Shadina, Shadina. There. I hope she don't mind me crashing on the roof. Here we go. 